So IMU recently uh, reached out to me and wanted to know if I would do a review on their Bullet 2C camera and got this in the other day. Thought I would do a quick comparison of the uh, this IMU with my rear link that I already have. Kind of give a comparison between the two and see how they stack up. So let me open the box up and I'll show you what all is included. So this is everything that's included in the box. Um, basically comes with the camera. This can be a wired, uh, it's powered, and it can also be connected via a wired ethernet connection here, or it is wireless capable. So you can hook it up Wi-Fi, you just have to have it powered. Uh, it has a micro SD slot here uh, for recording. It's weatherproof, um, comes with its own power cable, and this one is a 1080p version. Uh, I think it's a 2 megapixel CMOS sensor inside. Um, it is compatible with the OMVIF format, so you can hook it up to external um, recording systems if you don't want to use their, their app. Um, they have cloud-based storage for it. And basically everything that most of these uh, internet cameras now are coming with. Uh, night vision, and uh, we can test that out, show you kind of some, some comparisons between the two. So let me get it hooked up here, and I will show you how the setup goes on the app. Okay, what we're going to do now is I went ahead and downloaded the IMU Life app here. And I went ahead and registered so I'd have all that done. And once you bring the app up, um, you're going to plug in the camera and they said wait until the green light's flashing. And then once we get that, we're just going to do the plus and we're going to scan the QR code here. So let me scan that. Well, if it will scan. There it goes. Okay, so that scanned. We'll just do next. And we want to make sure the green light's flashing. We're going to connect. Okay, we're going to try this one more time. So let's go into the app. And I think I figured out my problem. We got the green blinking light. We are going to scan. Next, now let's see how this works. I think what was happening was the I was connected to my Wi Fi, and yes, that's it. Uh, you can't have um, 5G, you got to be on 2.4. So that was my problem. So I turned off the 5G um, from my router, that would allow me to connect. So let me put in my password here. Okay, so finally got the password entered and come to find out because I'm running the screen capture software, it was blocking the keyboard from coming up. So I had to disable that to get it in, entered in. So forgive me, but I went ahead and entered it and did next and now you can see Got a solid green light and device is connected and it should be done. And you get a seven day free trial. Um, I'm going to do it maybe later. Now let's just see what the first looks look like here of the camera. And we'll play. And 
got a firmware update I'll do that later but as you can see everything's looking good some of my 3d prints that I've been printing to sell off on my Etsy store they're showing up um, so what what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna put this outside and do a day and a night comparison between this and my Rio link and just do a side-by-side -side, uh, kind of get a good good idea of how it compares to other cameras out there so um, I'm gonna set that up and I will be back here in just a second so the first image here we're gonna look at is the low light and here it's pretty dark in the room you couldn't read text on a piece of paper but the IMU is showing in color and it's a good clear picture here even though it is very low light whereas on the Rio link here it did switch to the black and white mode now the IMU does have black and white and very very dark uh, situation and it shows up just the same and here is the outdoor um, here we got like I said the 120 degree field of view um, but it looks like the image isn't as wide so it's kind of compressed up a little bit but the, the image is sharper it's actually sharper than the the Rio link especially on looking at it on my phone directly whereas here on the Rio link you can kind of see it's a very flatter but it doesn't have the field of view but I'll provide some more videos at the end of this clip but now let's go into the actual app. So when you open up the IMU Life, you're presented with the camera list here. And of course, I've only got the one that's showing. And out of here, you can see, you can hit the play button and you can get the live view of what the camera is currently seeing. You can do a recording or snapshot of a current image. And you, can ha you do have sound on here so you can do a two-way communication and listen to the outside. Um, here you can also go in and look at your histories. Um, I don't have the cloud support but uh, I do have the SD card in there so you can go and look at the history and this is you can zoom in and zoom out so you can see here um, it did capture my dog walking by there. But that's how you view. And also, you can go in here and change the details, manage the settings. Uh, you can turn your notifications on and off. It does have a, um, you can set the field of view as far as the what areas you want to record. The detection areas um, you can set your sensitivity the human detection um, the schedule so if you don't want it to go off at certain times your um, sensitivity and zone basically the same features that are on most cameras these days um, and it'll give you the local storage and whether you want to record and what the, the Wi-Fi connections are but uh, overall it, it's uh, the app is very intuitive. I mean, it's just like I said, it's it's like most other apps that you uh, come across these days. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up and we'll go to the final words. Okay, everyone, so as you can see from the, the video clips there, the, uh, the camera quality is really good. You know, 120 degree field of view. Um, the, it does do black and white in darkness uh, the testing that I showed you was low light it was almost dark but it still showed uh, color representation really well um, and it, it is comparable to my wise cams and the Rio link um, it is a little bit clear I've noticed on the image quality when I look at it on my computer monitor um, something I forgot to mention before is it does take an SD card but it is located under these two screws Keep everything nice and watertight so that's your access to the SD card storage on it you do have a cloud option and I will post a snapshot here of the cost breakdown of the monthly subscription if you want cloud storage or you can alter you know alternative put a card in for capturing on the card as well uh, another thing of note is the RJ45, they do supply 
um, a waterproofing kit, but this is if you're going to use um, RJ45 um, to seal it. But if you don't use it, there's no cap for this. So you might have to protect this end if you're installing an outdoors Wi-Fi with just the power cable. Um, but overall, I'm pleased with this. I'm going to plan on incorporating it to some of my other camera um, that I have up around the house here. And as a special thank you, uh, the folks over at IMU, they have provided a 20% off discount code. So if you want to purchase one of these, I will provide the link and the bio below and for the, uh, the coupon code as well so you can get 20% off. So overall, nice little camera to have a wired, I uh, haven't done a wired uh, powered cable Wi-Fi yet. So this was a new experience to me. And uh, overall, I'm very pleased with it. And one thing I do want to take note of is the, uh, the, the AI for the person detection. Um, I did notice a few false triggers. I would have this pointing towards the, 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 cam, the, the window behind me here. And as I would walk in, the shadow would trip it and it would show human. But even though there was not a human in the, the picture, but when I turned it around, it caught me every time I would walk by the room or into the room. And the response rate was fairly quick. Uh, it would be anywhere from five to 10 seconds, I would say, from the when I'd first get into the room and I would get notified. So the human detection, it is a good feature because that's something now that most companies are making you pay for extra. And it's included with this. So anyway, I do appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video today and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and look forward for you coming out and checking some future videos. Thanks, have a great day.